Hey there Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot for the week starting March 18th, 2024. So we're doing astrology for the weather and the tarot for the traffic. On the 21st, we have a double action day, everybody. And for you, this is all about the sun in your seventh house of partnerships and closest one-on-one -on -one connections Aries forming a beautiful sextile to Pluto in Aquarius, your fifth house of love, creation, recreate, uh, recreation, excuse me, as well as any kind of personal enterprises you have and your relationships with your kids. And this is all about decisive action, unlocking doors. And it looks like there is going to be some kind of power move getting made either by a romantic partner, a business partner, a close friend, one of your kids, or maybe a collaborator that's going to help unlock an important door for a significant relationship or maybe even a personal pursuit or enterprise or new life road that you are looking to walk down together. And that's all going to start, you know, that's going to start kicking up, right? We're, we're starting a new trend as we kind of go through this day. We also have, however, Venus conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is your sixth house of work, reputation, schedule, anything relating to your lifestyle and the services you offer to the world and what you get back for those services. And this is about detached decisions. And there's likely going to be some kind of very important new commitment rule or established normal that is getting set in stone on or around this day that is not going to really be very pleasing to everybody. It's for the highest interest of all concerned, but remember, not everybody is good at keeping an eye on the bigger picture. This could be something that does take good care of you in the long run, but be careful about who you're dealing with uh, in the short term, because again, people might get reactive. On the 24th, we've got Venus in that sixth house, Pisces, forming a beautiful sextile to Jupiter in Taurus. Jupiter in your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, bonus monies, as well as any kind of responsibilities you share with business partners or romantic partners. And this is all about generous deeds. And it looks like there is going to be some kind of important favorable decision or maybe favorable call being made when it comes to your professional life that is going to be setting you up with some bonus money opportunity. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Libra, time to have a look and see what's going on with your weekly tarot and the traffic. One sec. All right, let's just charge these puppies up. money, work, personal path and well-being irrespective of others, home, family, living situation, love and romance, your community and friendships, and your advice and best course of action regarding the themes of this week. 
All right, so when it comes to money, you've got the Queen of Wands upright. Prepare for some very cool hookups coming your way. The Queen of Wands is all about getting lifted up by somebody who has the power, the connections, the network to bring more to you or make something that you've been operating with or something you've been trying to work with that's been kept small all the bigger or grow all the faster. Think of the Queen of Wands as, you know, sort of the, the talent agent, the talent manager, the promoter, somebody who puts you on blast or hooks you up in all the best ways. This could indicate you stepping into a new position of power because of the actions of somebody like this or something getting primed for new success because of the deeds of somebody like this. With the Queen of Wands upright financially, you're going to be flying high. This is going to be, again, one of the best weeks of the month we've had so far, that's for sure. For your work life and career, you've got the King of Pentacles reversed. And even reversed, this is still a really good card, financially speaking. However, this is going to also be a week where you're going to have to be on your guard. Um, while you are definitely going to be rolling in it in terms of cash, there is likely going to be an issue coming up around a person that may be trying to control you with a reward or control you with that, uh, that payoff or maybe even oppress or dominate a situation with the promise of that carrot on the stick. This is usually somebody who is, uh, they have it to give, and this could indicate a professional relationship, a boss, or maybe even a client or a customer kind of taking over because of how many carrots they have on how many sticks. With the King of Pentacles reversed, you certainly don't want to have this be set as sort of a new normal. A lot of the times with the, uh, with the King of Pentacles reversed, they kind of come in to put us in a shiny box, a shiny cage. They want to control a project. They want to control a path. They want to control you. While I do think it's okay to cash in on a lot of good that's coming in, you do not want to let this person or this influence run the show. For your personal path and well-being, irrespective of others, you've got the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And the Eight of Pentacles reversed is indicating this week you're going to want to pay attention to where there might be some gaps in your space, gaps in your schedule, gaps in your knowledge, in your skills, or your availabilities that need to be amended. A lot of the times with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the devil is in the details. Good things are coming up for you, but in order for us to capitalize on them, we might need to be brushing up on the way we've set up our lives to function up until this point so that we can be more compatible with them. Sometimes the Eight of Pentacles reverse can also indicate this is going to be a week of putting out some fires, especially when it comes to details or things getting overlooked or things other people have missed as well. Whatever the case, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, you are going to want to make sure that you are not letting yourself get complacent or take for granted that you know or have everything you need. Good things are happening, but you've got to stay in step with a lot of the growth that's going on for you this week. For your home life, family, living situation, home economy, you've got the Nine of Wands reversed. And so the Nine of Wands reversed is all about an opening. Walls coming down, locked doors that can now be opened, and even sometimes people letting out things that they've been keeping behind tight lips. Now, with the Nine of Wands reversed, this can be very good, especially if things that have been maybe inaccessible to you that you need or maybe things that uh, have been kept out of the way or whatever are, are now able to be attained by you. However, sometimes this can also show up where there could be some big reveals that require us to step into action, uh, whether they are discoveries or these are people coming out about all kinds of things or um, stuff that's been going on behind closed doors finally gets revealed to other people. You might be getting information about things going on behind closed doors in other households and things like that. Either way, with the Nine of Wands reversed, it's good that it's all coming out in the open, but it might kind of throw you through a bit of a few head spins this week. For your 
love life and romance, you've got the moon upright. And so the moon is all about secrets. It's all about mysteries. It can also be sometimes about illusions. And you may find that you and uh, a partner are coming into a place where a lot of vexing or very puzzling developments uh, around the relationship or even involved with plans that you have for the relationship or the, a relationship goal need to be faced. Uh, the moon card upright can indicate that we may discover some things that we need to stop and sort out before we go even further. This could be something related to a joint plan or joint effort, something you and a partner are trying to do together. Or this may even be a side of your partner that you haven't seen coming out that you're not familiar with. And sometimes that can happen with the moon, right? The moon has more than one side to it. And so this could be an aspect of your partner coming out that you haven't met before or you haven't seen for many years or maybe even, in a, you know, some a, a part of their inner child or, or older self coming out to be visited. Either way, with the moon, we want to make sure that we're not... Uh, we're not delaying exploration of this, but, you know, this is going to be something that needs to be explored. Sometimes with the moon card upright, this can show up because it was triggered or because, again, another development prompted it. But it is going to be something that needs to be looked at. It can be good or it can be stressful, right? The moon is true neutral after all. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, the moon card upright is indicating you may meet somebody this week or there may be a, an understanding about somebody recent that uh, is not really bringing their whole self to the table. There could be, you know, a sense of a person bringing a persona or maybe embellishing one aspect of their personality or very much trying to make sure you see one side of their personality. And with the moon card, it's important to, again, slow down and really take your time to get to know what's going on in the situation before you make any big moves or make any big decisions because you're not, this person, for whatever reasons, understandable and good or shady and bad, isn't bringing this to the table all this week. For your community and friends and contacts, you've got the three of wands upright. And looks like you might be benefiting from something getting sped up this week. A lot of the times with the Three of Wands, we see something getting accelerated. Now, this could be something sped up because of the actions of a friend or the influence of a friend. Or this could be something moved up on the timeline, so to speak, or on the, on the uh, itinerary that's actually going to be very profitable, uh, wh however you define profit in this context, for you or them. The Three of Wands can also indicate uh, some kind of solid connection getting made with an important contact, new or known, that's also going to lift up another area of your world outside of your social life. And finally, for your advice, your guidance regarding the themes of this week, you've got the Temperance card reversed. This week, we've got to be okay with letting things that don't belong together drift apart. The Temperance card reversed is all about not forcing things that don't belong together to stick together, work together, occupy the same space, the same lane, whatever. And this has been showing up a lot for like a lot of people this week. And so this could be just a natural coming apart of a lot of things that don't belong together anymore. You know, we've seen a lot of that going on, especially in the work and family spaces here for you. It could be that this is just a lot of endings that are overdue or a lot of things that are incompatible that are more harmful coexisting the way they have needing their space. Let those things happen. It doesn't mean it has to be the end of the world for everything. It's just, you know, we don't always need to keep things in old arrangements and sometimes incompatible things being forced to, to stick together or operate together in a certain way. It's bad for all parties. And so let those drifts happen with as much ease and grace as possible. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>